Hello one and all, this is Luckless Lovelocks and welcome to Pyre. I'm super excited to start this game, I've been waiting for it for a while. It's from the creators of Bastion and Transistor. And it's got a weird like set of genres that it's drawing from. It's an RP party based RPG, it's a visual novel, it also has this, this like these mystical competitions that are uh, like these real time battles that are kind of rep reminiscent of like a MOBA or uh, some people compared it to it's kind of like basketball. It's going to be interesting to see how they pull this off, but the one thing I'm really excited about is getting kind of immersed in this world that they've created and, I mean, this art style. From what I've heard, the music is great. I just, I can't wait to start. So let's, let's get into Pyre, guys. And the loading screen's cool. Your days in the downside brought slow, lonesome agony. Now as you lie, yielding to the elements, something rumbles into view. Three shapes emerge, each clad in strange attire. So there's these like, kind of like hyperlink things that uh, you use to, to navigate and also to uh, just see more about the story. So the downside is a vast purgatory into which the Commonwealth casts its convicts and its enemies. So or one of those two things, or maybe both. Might have been known to return from the Forsaken Land. Hmm, another piece of filth expelled from the Commonwealth. We've got this masked woman. Wow, oh, those are some serious horns. See, right on schedule. What did I tell you? A masked something. It's a weird, weird shape, weirdly shaped neck, it looks like. He told us we would find someone alive. Someday. I said we'd find someone alive. Someday. Just not today, I guess. But don't be glum. You know I see you frowning underneath that mask. Oh, so here's the third. The masked man. Looks like he's breathing. The masked, uh, wanderers presume you are male. Uh, okay. I guess, so I can click to change it. They're breathing. Nothing about your gender. Oh, I like that. Looks like they're breathing. Soon enough. Seems they still are. Then stand aside. I shall send them to a better place. Better place? Name me a single better place than this. Is this supposed to be like a purgatory? Hang on, the markings on their rags. I think they're one of them. But look at them. They are beyond our help, and we are beyond theirs. Broken, shaking, starving, probably disease. Yeah, good luck with that there, chum. See you back at the wagon. <laughs> Indeed, the day grows dim. You have at best an hour. Understood, I won't be long. After the others leave, the man turns toward you and begins unfastening his mask. <laughs> oh, okay. So we're, we're with these people, I guess. Uh, hello, my friend. Don't care who you are or what you did. None of that matters anymore. All of us, we're equal nothings here. You're parched, and he gives you a drink. You ache, and he binds your wounds. You hunger, and he gives you food. Little by little, it helps. There. Turns out you're tougher than you look. Name's Hedwin. Now come on. He is one of the three masked wanderers who found you clinging to life in the downside. Okay, we must have been in the uh, in the caravan then. You sense no ill intent as he helps you up and leads you to an old black wagon. Nothing like the stately vessels that paraded Commonwealth criminals through alabaster streets. Commonwealth, a proud country risen from the ashes of a fallen empire, home to a multitude of ethnic groups. Hmm. Founded on principles of mercy and kinship. 
whose exact meanings evolved through many centuries. Oh, this this icon's different. It's like a, almost like a coin. Uh, Hedwin beckons you to enter the black wagon. Looks like we've got no choice but to step inside. The weather-beaten wagon is as much a mess inside as out. You see the masked woman and the talkative creature taking stock of ancient-looking books. I'm back. And with the guest. She loosens the clasps on her mask. Oh, wow. Okay. She actually has those horns. Interesting. Why are they wearing these masks, I wonder? You may call me Jodariel. She's the most imposing of the three masked wanderers who found you clinging to life. Jodariel. I, I'm not. I'm sorry if I, I don't know how I'm supposed to pronounce these, so I'm going to do my best. And as for myself... The small one struggles with his mask. Jotariel soon assists him. Boom! <laughs> Ow! Oh, that's a little pupper. That is to say, you may regard me by the name of Ruki Greentail. Ruke? Rukai? He is the smallest yet loudest of the three masked wanderers who found you clinging to life. I'm gonna go with Ruki. Uh, such pleasantries out of the way, the horned woman then motions to the others. She glances at you sidelong as she speaks. Can they do it? Hope so. I haven't asked them yet. What? Then what are we waiting for? Hey, hey chum. Nice meeting you and all, but tell me something. You know how to read or what? He's asking if you are a reader. Oh, one who can derive meaning from text. Literacy has been prohibited for centuries. Those with knowledge of the old ways violate the law of the land. Wow, okay, you can admit it. Oh, interesting, there's a little flavor text here. Over time, you managed to learn something of the old ways in spite of Commonwealth decree. Deny it. Literacy is a serious crime. No one in their right mind would dare violate the law of the land. Remain silent. Who are who are you, or what did you uh, what did to what you did to earn your sentence is no one's business of your own. Okay. Oh, I see. So basically, we were we're probably a criminal because we're a reader. We're gonna admit it. You confirm their suspicions. There's no use trying to hide it now. Well then, glory days, because it just so happens my associates and I. We got ourselves some nice material here for someone like you. Reader, you still live thanks to us. We ask for something modest in exchange. Open one of those books back there. Tell us what it says. Sorry to put you on the, sorry to put you on the spot like this, my friend. The exiles indicate the book, the books in their possession. Okay, let's let's take a look. Strange book. Oh, cool. Old raiments. Colorful robes, ceremonial masks adorn one of the wagon's walls. Side door. Beyond lies the boundless downside. Even if you could run, you would not get far. What are these? That's creepy. Oh, cool. Odd creatures. Hungry looking creatures roost near some sort of attic. Something you could do for them now. Intricate sigil, a symbol of some sort, is set in the wagon's floorboards. You cannot sense its purpose. What's this? A lone minstrel? Hmm. Figure sits very still in the corner of the wagon. Now is not the time to check on him. I can click on them, too. Closed door. The black wagon's common room must be back there. They do not feel very welcome now. And a rickety ladder, of course. It likely leads to the wagon centrifuge. Judging by the gibbering creatures up there. Gibbering. Gibbering. Okay, let's let's look on the strange book. One of several such heavy, ominous volumes. The exiles uh, you met seem very interested in them. 
You pick up one of the old and heavy volumes, bound in materials you do not recognize. Oh. Forward. A formal welcome undersigned by the eight scribes. You, dear reader, are an exile of the downside, such as we the eight who wrote the, uh, this book of rights, that you possess it and have capacity to, cl to uh, glean its words. Sorry, it's a bit tough to read in this writing. It's testament enough to your potential. Thus we reveal a path from this forsaken place to freedom, a homecoming in glory. Uh, the stars themselves shall be your guide. Ere the uh, turning of the years for solstice, seek the nearest longitude, or longitude, beneath the brightest of eight, as they align as shown. Arrive as a triumphant clad in the raiments of the rites bearing this book. Oblige the voice that tells you more. Okay. A clearer look at the text. Maybe, maybe I should, do, maybe I should use that next time. Cyrus will be your guide. Nearest longitude beneath the brightest of the eight. Is the line is showed. Which one is the brightest of the eight? This one. Forward. Brief instructions on when, where, and how to commence the rites. Guess that's it. Okay. The book describes a complicated method through which exiles can return to the Commonwealth. The words swim through your mind as Hedwin gets your attention. Well, friend, what does it say? But then your vision starts to fade and blur. You feel your body weaken and give out. you tamper with forbidden knowledge so soon after your sentence into exile tis true what the book says you can be free again perhaps not you yourself but someone worthy of the privilege you witness now the path toward salvation you witness the rights the one way to return to glory. Though in your case, I hardly think it possible. Yet, by the grace of the scribes, it is my duty to inform you anyhow. It worked. Oh, wow. Okay. Are we in, in one of the rites now? Glory God. So it is true. Yeah, but what now? And where'd the reader go? Oh, they're in the right, it looks like. They should be out there still, for now. We have to put our faith in them. They could abandon us. They won't. Look upon the three of them from beyond as Hedwin then calls out to you. Reader, we aim to free ourselves. We will not grow old and die in the downside. And now I swear to you, when we get out of here, you're going to come with us. But first, we need your help. Show us the way. Freedom. You focus all your mental faculties to do as Hedwin asked. Are we, are we getting right in this? A celestial orb falls from the heavens when the time is nigh. This is a celestial orb, okay. Exiles conduct the rites as a triumvirate, for they must prove their trust in one another, not just in themselves. Oh, weird. The three must act as one. Only one exile can move at a time, okay. Oh, here we go. Prince still stamina is depleted. Now plunge into the pyre with the orb and be purified. Okay, so we just have to make it into there with the orb. Has the way of it. Whoever steps into the flame is banished for a time. Oh, 
His or her cohorts must make do on their own. Oh, but it is not so simple. Even like shadow the cells. shall face adversaries whose own freedom is at stake. Beware That's so cool. the aura that surrounds them, as they shall beware yours. So what happens when we hit them with our aura? Ah. The aura is your wrongdoing. Accept it as a part of you. So it looks like, looks like the larger people have a larger aura. Cast your aura like a stone. Oh, cool. Correctly done. Again. Just so. A glorious performance, I admit. More than I expected from the likes of you. Grasp the orb once more. The orb absorbs the aura. Then the orb quenches oh. the flame. Okay. Lose the aura when we have the orb. Now I say jump. Leap with all your strength. Oh. Into the oh. flames. Okay, can we, if we're running, can we leap further? Yes. Do it. I can wait. And we need stamina to jump. Nice. Okay. Now snuff out the adversary's pyre whilst yours yet burns. Oh. Splendid. Oh man, the stamina goes down fast. Cast, okay. Then we get it back. All right. Whoa. He's super fast. Oh. oh, I can't jump. All right. All right, good. Go. Damn. Oh, we need to do, we just jump three times. Pretty tough. It's gonna take some time to get used to this. There. Super slow. Flying or fling, sorry. Pass. Uh, rush. Okay. Oh, I see. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't really run. He just does like uh, a quick like dash. Now you understand. Or do you? This it's going to be intense. Of that which lies ahead. I would tell you to turn back. Cast down your hope. But all those such as you? You never listen. Of course not. We want to get out. During the rites, only one exile on each side is permitted to move at any given time. Three must act as one. The others are still picking themselves up. Is he awaken? <laughs> well, that was something. That was our way out. So now we just follow the stars or, or what? Supposedly. Reader, come. Let us regard the night. I, li I like the writing a lot. Jodario leads you outside where a clear night sky awaits. Now. Show us, before the howlers catch our scent, where shall the rites commence? So, ancient ritual competition through which the worthiest exiles regain their freedom. The eight scribes gave their freedom uh, so that we may have ours. Prayer from the Book of Rites. You gaze at the stars. Get your destination. You don't really, I wonder if we're gonna have other choices here. It's always the same thing. It's always just one choice. Scorpus, the olden star, star of the old cutter. Those born under it are wiser than most. 
uh, Caprias, the Olden Star. Is it about the Olden Star? Yeah. Star of the Moon Stag Hunter. Those born under it are ambitious. Ambitious, though also discontented. The South Star. The South Star burns bright over a massive ridge of stone, much further than the naked eye can see. Star of the First Empress. Those born under it uh, seek knowledge and new experiences. See one up here? Uh, Sagathal, star of the Whistling Prince. Those born under it possess a natural exuberance. And I think there's one more here. Star of the Broken Bower, the Verdan. Those born under it are steadfast or narrow or narrow minded. Uh, okay. That's all of them. So it says. You try to determine the location of the next right, so I guess this is the one I select. Hmm. 200 leagues due east, the ridge of Gaul. According to the stars, the next right shall soon commence there. The fossil remains of the serpent titan slain by Gaul. Golathan. Gol Golathanian. <laughs> Gaul Golathanian, yet loom over those living in its shadow. Concilia. Great, and we're supposed to be there when exactly? Very soon, according to the stars. You should be able to arrive in time, if you make haste. In then we had best get started. <laughs> well, this ought to be good for a few laughs at least. What do you say, Jody? Oh, Jody, all right. Jodario turns to you, studying you. Reader, do not deceive us. Pray we make good use of our remaining time. What she means is, glad to have you aboard, chum. We're counting on you, my friend. See you inside. Freedom. The rights are the key. It's a lot to take in. Well, exiles await you in the wagon. Oh, that jump. Downside Prairie, oh cool. You arrive in Downside Prairie, where the road ahead is forked. There's a lack of consensus about which way to proceed. I'm telling you, we ought to take the Northern Pass. Got an associate holed up in Hollow Route. Gotta pay a visit to. Besides, northern route to the ridge of Gaul uh, goes through the small exile camp. Exile encampment, sorry. Every so often, tempests come and scour away the huts and hovels, but they always crop back up. <laughs> Fire on your associate. Best we head to Blooming Pool and avoid attention. Southern route to the ridge of Gaul goes through a humid area pocked with hot springs. Runoff from the sand folds means no bathing in the springs. So they're just there to mock you. Blue Pool sounds a bit less inviting so far. And get stuck in a bog while we're at it. The dispute continues as Hedwin listens for a while. What if the reader settled this? They mark the way, we get us there. If these rites are meant to test our faith, then we'd best learn to trust the reader's instincts on our path. No second guessing them along the way. Can we all live with that for now? Yeah, sure. If necessary. Then it's settled. Just point the way, my friend. The stars guide us through you. You may now choose a route toward your goal at certain junctures. Maybe the options, okay. Uh. Small exile encampment. And we know someone that owes. Okay, that just seems seems like the way. The humid area popped with hot springs. Find a rare flora here. Uh. Alright guys, uh, that's gonna wrap up the first episode of Pyre. Let me know what you think of the game. It's pretty good so far. It's gonna take some time to get used to the um, the, the rights, but we'll, we'll get there. Um, 
I'm really digging the world. Like, look at how gorgeous the artwork is. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Locus of Locks, signing off for now, and I'll see you on the next episode. And I love you all. <laughs>